Hello and welcome to Jay's Helpful Videos. Today I'm going to show you how to install a Wi-Fi thermostat, but more importantly, I'm going to show you how to run the C wire to power the thermostat. My old thermostat is a battery powered thermostat and it doesn't require the C wire in order to operate. So in this video I'm going to show you how to run one simple wire from the thermostat up to the air conditioning unit in order to get that C wire that's needed to power the thermostat. I've seen where they have relays and other devices to make up for the missing wire but it seems as if there's a lot more wiring to do and a lot more complicated. So I'm trying to simplify this for you, run one single wire and I'll show you step by step what to do so that this way you can also install a Wi-Fi thermostat in your home. Alright, here's the thermostat that I'm going to replace. I have to run a new wire in order to be able to connect um, my new thermostat and have that common wire. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the wires, but before I do that, what I want to do is write down all of the terminals and the wire colors that, going, that are going to each terminal. This way uh, I know how to put it back together on a new thermostat. Uh, the other thing I would do is take a picture of the wiring. This way I can um, have a visual of uh, what it looked like before I did any work. Okay, so as you can see, I've disconnected the thermostat and the wires from the back of the uh, plate. Uh, just as a reminder, I didn't say it earlier, you want to make sure you shut off the power to both, uh, in my situation, both the hot water boiler and the air conditioning unit, so this way you have no power there. You don't want to short out the transformer or blow a fuse uh, inside the control box. So. I could do this one of two ways. I could run one new wire to get the common. Um, the other thing I could have done is uh, just ran a whole new wire back to the uh, cooling unit. Uh, and instead of using a four wire, I could use a five or a six wire uh, in order to have that extra wire in the bundle. Just found it easier to run one single wire so that this way um, on the end where the air conditioning is, I have to do a whole lot less wiring. I only have to wire leave the uh, white wire connected as it is and then just connect the one extra wire to the common terminal within the air conditioning unit when I'm done. So what I've done is I've connected my new wire to the existing white wire. I've also attached a string to it. The reason why is I'm going to use the existing white wire to pull this new wire up into the wall uh, and then once I get it upstairs um, I'm going to use the string to pull that white wire back down. This way I'll have uh, the existing white wire down here and this brand new uh, brown wire which I'm going to use as my common. Okay. okay, you can see I finished running the extra wire back to my air conditioning control panel. And what I need to do now is find the C terminal in order to connect it to. On some air conditioning units what you'll find is a terminal board it'll be marked with a C and you can connect right to it. You'll notice in my air conditioning unit there is no C terminal. So what I need to do is determine which one is the common side of the transformer. You can see up in the back here there's a red wire uh, and a brown wire connected to that transformer on the low voltage side. And that red wire goes to this connection right here uh, if you could see it, which goes down to the thermostat. That was the red wire that we had on RC downstairs. So I know it's not that side. And the brown wire in the back there is the other side of the transformer. So if I follow that brown wire, you'll notice that it connects right here to a, another white wire. And I know that's the common side of the transformer because I have the red or the high side of the transformer here. And then this is the other side of the transformer. So all I need to do is connect this wire to that uh, terminal. And that's my common wire that goes down to my thermostat. What I also did just to uh, verify that I had the right wiring, I looked at the wiring diagram here. If and you take if you a close look right here, you'll see that it says uh, R is the red wire and C is the brown wire, which is the common terminal. So I was able to determine uh, and verify that the brown wire is the right side that I want to be able to connect to. So I'll go ahead and wire that up, and then I'll go back to the thermostat and we'll finish wiring the base. Okay, so you can see I mounted the sub base to the wall. I have the wires run through the back. You'll notice right here 
that new C wire that I ran, I actually uh, marked it with a little C. Those letters come in the box with the Honeywell thermostat so you can mark all your wires. And you can see down in the back here, these are the wiring terminals. RC, that's where my uh, red cooling wire will go. The other R wire is going to go to my heating unit. The Y terminal will connect to uh, my cooling unit also. Then you can see I have the C wire, that's where that common wire, that new wire, that's where that's going to go. The W wire, and that's for the other side of the heating. And the G wire, that's for the fan on the air conditioning unit. What you'll also notice, there's a little jumper between R and RC. In my situation, because I have two separate uh, heating and cooling units, I'll go ahead and remove that jumper wire all the wires back onto the terminal block and then put the thermostat in place and I'll show you that it'll power up. So you can see I finished the wiring. I put all the uh, wires back on the correct terminals. Like I said earlier it's important to write down um, all of the terminals off of your old thermostat and the wire colors that they're associated with. In the Honeywell box it does come with little stickers to mark the uh, wires, R, Y, and so on and so forth, so that this way you know exactly where to put them back. The other, other important point is, you can see I have three white wires here. The colors of the wires truly uh, don't matter, but what does matter is that they go back on the correct terminals. So that's why marking them, taking a picture of them is important. Uh, so that this way when it goes back together, it'll all function. I'm going to plug in the thermostat, turn on the power, and show you that it works. So you can see the thermostat's been installed, it's powered up, it's ready to be programmed, and uh, that's all it takes to run that extra C wire to the thermostat in order to get a Wi-Fi thermostat in your home. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it helpful. Please take the time to like and subscribe to my videos, and as I do uh, other tasks around the house. I'll uh, take some videos to show you how to get it done. Thanks. Bye.